Probably the most important hoses under your hood are the ones that transfer coolant from the engine to the radiator. Since coolant is very hot, between 200 and 240 degrees in normal driving, and under pressure, these hoses are prone to failure. Failure in one of these hoses will definitely ruin your day. To avoid the tow truck and that missed meeting, check the radiator and smaller diameter heater hoses on a regular basis. But it's easy when we show you how. Hi, this is Mark, your Haynes technician. While hoses can fail suddenly, they're usually telltale signs that can help you head off a disaster. First, check for softness and swelling. For safety's sake, only touch the hoses when the engine is cold. A good hose will be firm, flexible, and resilient. Replace any hose that is soft, spongy, or bulging. Also, check hoses for hardening and cracks. Squeeze the hose since sometimes that's the only way to get a crack to reveal itself. On hoses that run near a hot exhaust manifold or moving components, be sure to check for chafing and localized heat damage. This type of damage often hides on the underside of the hose, so inspect it carefully. Since oil and grease deteriorate and soften rubber, be sure to wipe oily hoses clean and get any oil leaks fixed right away. When it's time to change a hose, wait until the engine is completely cool, then drain some antifreeze out of the cooling system into a clean bucket. Information on draining the cooling system will be found in your hands manual. Most hoses on modern vehicles use spring type hose clamps. To release this type of clamp, squeeze the ends with a pair of pliers and pry the clamp away from the hose fitting. The hose can get stuck to the fitting. Try twisting it back and forth to break it loose. If that doesn't work, slide a thin screwdriver under the end of the hose and work it free or simply cut it off and replace it with the new hose. Be extra careful with plastic radiator fittings. When installing the new hose, it's a good idea to replace the spring clamp with new screw type clamps, since the spring clamps can get weak and frequently break after one or two uses. Check with your Haynes manual to find which type or color of antifreeze your vehicle needs, as some of them are incompatible. In addition to the cooling system hoses, you'll find a network of smaller hoses running throughout your engine. Most of these are vacuum hoses to operate fuel or emission system components. Check these hoses for the same telltale signs as the cooling system hoses. Also, look for kinks and softness that can cause the hose to collapse. By carefully inspecting vacuum hoses, you can sometimes find a nagging drivability problem caused by a vacuum leak. You'll also want to check the fuel lines because a leaky fuel line can result in a fire. Modern vehicles are all fuel injected and use special high pressure fuel lines with quick disconnect fittings. If one of these lines requires replacement, a special tool will be required to separate the fittings. This tool is available for a few dollars at every auto parts store. Mark again, before disconnecting any fuel line, you'll need to relieve the pressure in the fuel system. On some cars, it's as easy as pulling the fuse of the relay. In this Camaro, the fuse is hidden in the trunk behind a panel. Pull the fuse, then crank the engine and check for any residual pressure at the fuel pressure valve. Be sure to have rags handy to catch any spillage or spray. Your hands manual will show you how. When reconnecting the lines, make sure it clicks securely into place and be sure to install any safety retainers that were present. And that's all there is to it.